Will here with HVC, and I thought I'd do a quick little review of my laptop. Here it is. This is the ATIV Book 4 by Samsung. It's actually a really nice laptop. And I really have little to no complaints about this laptop. Really, it meets my expectations and then some. I mean, I could easily recommend it to somebody who wants a nice home office computer or needs a computer to take to school with them. It's very nice for those. For gaming, I think it falls a bit flat, it's just because it is not expandable as far as a uh, graphics processor, GPU. So you're kind of stuck with stock graphics, which is the HD 4000, I believe, Intel graphics. It's not bad, I'm not going to lie, I mean, I can run Minecraft at about 50 frames per second, 50 to 60, which, eh, that's alright. It's more than playable. Now. As far as features on this laptop, I'll go ahead and show you some of the uh, ports first. Right here you have the extra monitor hookup, HDMI, USB 3, headphone microphone jack, both integrated together, Ethernet cable, and power supply adapter. Now, this does not have a disk drive. For me, that's not really a big deal, but I know for some people, a disk drive is pretty important to them. Now, moving on. Here's the other side. You can see you have two extra USB ports and a SD port. Once again, very handy. I really like the uh, SD port on there. I've always liked computers that have them. Just because my camera uses an SD card, I could just plop it right in. I don't have to go through and extract all the files from the camera directly to the hard drive. It's much easier for me. Now, on to things like some of the uh, features and hardware in the computer. The one I got specifically comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM. It's pretty good. I mean, I'm definitely more than happy with that. It gives me enough RAM to run pretty much any application I like. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, the hard disk drive, basically the hard drive on this thing, comes with 750 gigs. I'm more than happy with that. I mean, I've yet to even come close to filling. I think I'm only up to about 720 gigs as my free space. That's pretty impressive. But, grant you, I only have a few games and music. It's pretty much all that I have on there. Um, stays pretty cool when I use it. I haven't had a problem with overheating, anything like that. Nice long battery life. I've really ran it for about four hours. I'm not sure exactly how long the battery life is on it. So, take with that what you will. Screen looks nice and crisp. I have no complaints with it at all. I mean, as far as the screen, it looks very nice. I mean, I've played a few movies and stuff from the internet, like uh, Netflix and stuff like that on it. It looks fairly decent. And on this computer, CPU is a i7-3537U. It runs at about 2.5 gigahertz from what I noticed, but it can turbo up to 3.1. I mean, that's more than enough speed for me for right now. I am looking into building a new PC to get a little bit faster speeds, but for a laptop, that's very fast for myself. I'm not ever going to really run it over or find something that's going to kill my computer and give me zero frames, one or two frames per second. I mean, very nice. For me. It's fairly quiet. I mean, I've been in decently quiet rooms and I usually hear the hard drive more than I hear the fan or anything like that, so very nice. I mean, I like the Intel coolers for laptops. I've noticed that most of them are usually kind of similar. I mean, I don't know if all of them are. I'm pretty inexperienced when it comes to uh, laptops and stuff like that, like the hardware. But as far as everything else, I like the cooler. It's very, very uh, simple. Nothing else to really say on that. But overall, I got this computer for $499, about $535, all said and done after tax. Pretty big price tag. It killed me a bit, so yeah, that's something to consider. But for the components and everything, I think it's very good performance per dollar. And I'm very happy with it. I could not be happier. Now, some of my dislikes... Mm, it's not really upgradable. I mean, yes, you could upgrade the RAM if you really wanted to, but with 8 gigs, I really don't see the point. 
especially since you don't have a nice graphics card in there or anything like that. It works with the system, in my opinion. I don't see the need to upgrade that. You can, however, upgrade the hard drive if you really wanted to, but, eh, once again, I don't really see the need for a laptop. Uh, I already went over the headphone jack. It likes to pop my uh, headphone wire out. I'm not happy with that. I mean, it's, it's garbage. They could have done better, I'm not going to lie. The built-in mouse is pretty cheap, so I had to go out and buy a uh, standalone mouse. Works on this little USB. It's fairly nice. It's uh, on mouse. I bought it from Walmart. It works fairly decently. But as far as that, it can't really run demanding games either, which is kind of upsetting to me because I am looking to get into uh, PC gaming. Not all that big a deal, but in the same way it is for me. But one good thing, I will admit, I got this computer from Best Buy, and they did include a copy of WebRoot. This works up to three computers, and I actually like it quite a bit. It's not as demanding as some uh, other antivirus software I've gotten in the past, but it works fairly decent. I mean, I haven't had any problems. Now, to give you guys an idea as well about the inside of it, since I haven't, of how it looks, it's about what you're getting. Nice screen. See all the keys there? You have a full number pad. Very happy about that. My old computer didn't, so that's a definite nice thing to have. You have your function key, or function lock key. I love that. It's a really nice feature. It's where you just press that, and then you can press any function keys, or uh, F keys, sorry, that you like. There's a volume up, volume down, and mute button, as well as a button to turn the touchpad off. Once again, my old computers had something that you tapped on the touchpad itself, and it always got in the way, so that's really nice. I like that. And, of course, brightness up, brightness down, and a few other keys I have failed to mention. But I don't see them as all that important, except for one, actually, I just noticed. It is a fan speed key. It's where your fan could either run a little slower, to where it runs a little quieter. Really, I don't see the need for it. But in the same way, if you want your computer to run ultra quiet, it'll work great for you. Me, um, it's just not really high in my book. But it's a pretty cool feature, I will admit. So, that pretty much concludes my overview of the computer. Oh, I actually forgot something. It has a built-in mic and uh, webcam. It's not absolute garbage, so... Awesome. That means I don't have to use a uh, standalone webcam on it, which at times can be pretty annoying for me. I mean, that's why you used to have to do, but that's besides the point. Webcam on it's fairly nice, actually. I was pretty surprised, but uh, I guess shows some of uh, Samsung's craftsmanship. So, as far as that, I guess that concludes my uh, overview of the computer and my review of it. If you're getting it to go to college, Use it as a uh, study aid, just to surf the internet, use it for work. Awesome. It's going to be a great computer, and you're probably never going to need to upgrade it or anything like that. It's going to run beautifully for you. If you're getting it for uh, gaming, mm, I'd really recommend getting something else. This computer runs great for Minecraft. It runs great for Portal 1 and 2. Those are the only three games I have. But in the same way, I could not recommend it as a gaming PC. It just it falls flat for that. But if you're getting it for a home office, great PC. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, HVC out.